What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Now, today on the table in front of us is something new to the channel. It's been out for a little while. Uh, this is the SOG Terminus XR. And this is something really sort of special as far as I'm concerned because what this is, is a very good SOG knife. Okay, so like many people when I was a kid and when I was young, I loved SOG knives. Um, they were very sort of tactical, they were very sort of cool. Uh, and then somewhere along the line, SOG became, to me, synonymous with garbage, to be quite honest. Um, they made and still make stuff like this. This is the SOG Twitch 2. And this is um, a terrible pocket knife. Uh, this one happens to have uh, copper scales, which is very cool. But the actual build on this knife, it is assisted and it's still doesn't it doesn't open it doesn't close very well um if it's loose enough that the uh, flipper works even remotely well you can move the blade back and forth inside the butt look this is not a good knife and this unfortunately is what sog came to mean but then there was this now i don't know what drove them to do this i just know that i'm glad that they did it uh this is s35 vn uh, it has some form of the access lock. I'm sure there's a name for it. I don't know it off the top of my head. It's got thumb studs that work. It has a flipper that work. It has very nice action. It is comfortable in hand. Again, S35VN, good lock. It is G10 with what looks like carbon fiber overlaid over it. It has a G10 backspacer. It has a really nice deep carry pocket clip that works very well. Um, I really like this knife. <laughs> I'm very happy about that because for a long time, I wouldn't go near a SOG for anything. Um, and that bummed me out because I love the name. I love what the knives used to be. And they still make some very good fixed blades, but when it came to folding knives, no thank you. But now uh, there's this, there's the SOG Seal XR, which is on par with the uh, 8010 in size. I don't have one in the collection yet to review, but I will. Um, this is a fantastic small knife. Now it is small. Let's talk about what you get. You get one, two, excuse me, one, two, two and three quarters inches of cutting on just at three inches of S35VN. Uh, the stock is not particularly thick. Let's uh, move this over to millimeters. And take a look, yeah, we're at 2.6 millimeters, uh, which is not bad actually, because that means that down here, it's actually reasonably thin behind the edge, which is very nice. It is reasonably lightweight. And again, it has great action, which is just such a nice feature. I really like this knife and I think you will too. Um, I think it's competitive with a lot of the, especially an S35VN, I think it's competitive with a lot of the uh, Benchmade knives that are out. Um, again, it's a smaller knife. They haven't made something enormous. Let's do some size comparisons. Here it is against our friend, the uh, Rat Model 1. And as you can see, it is much, much smaller than the Rat Model 1. Uh, the Rat 2, of course, which is our official small knife. Uh, the XR has, the Terminus XR has a very similar blade size, as you can see, uh, to the uh, Rat Model 2 here. And in fact, they are very, very similar in size. But where the Rat Model 2, because of the shape of the handle, uh, forces this to be a three-finger knife for me, and because of the way this is shaped, keeps me what I feel like is very, very far from the blade. I have to kind of choke up and get close to that cutting edge to make this thing feel good in hand. Um, the shape of this handle means that it's just not good for my hand. Well, SOG has gone with what I've been talking about in a number of reviews, sort of a more rectangular and very basic handle shape that means it is very comfortable even in my larger hands. I get very close or close enough to what I feel is the blade right here, and you can pull on it a little bit for fine work here, um, but again, you're very close to the cutting edge, so be careful with that. But you kind of don't need to. For push cuts and for draw cuts, because of the way this is shaped, I'm able to get all four fingers on it if I really need to lock in. And that is very, very good. I hope, I very much hope, that this is the direction that SOG is going to go. Now, I know 
that at about a hundred bucks, which is where this comes in, that's very expensive for SOG. But it isn't very expensive for S35VN and the rest of the features on this knife. I hope SOG recognizes that and I hope they sell a ton of these because I would love to see that name, SOG, become synonymous again with good, useful, reliable pocket knives. That's what this is. Is it perfect? No. There's a little bit of a smile down here at the base of the plunge. They could have done the grind a little better. Uh, the overall fit and finish is very, very nice, as I said. Uh, it came out of the box a little crunchy, um, which means they probably used a heavy grease uh, on the inside here. I have not had a chance to lubricate this or do anything like that with it yet, and I will see if I can smooth that out a little bit. But, you know, to get this much knife from someone like Benchmade, for instance, an S30V, would be, um, you know, $120. So they're coming in under similarly sized knives with similar features, um, and for that, I'm willing to forgive a not quite perfect grind. I mean, let's face it, we forgave a not quite perfect grind on Benchmade for quite a while before they recently seemed to figure it out. So there we are. Uh, this is the SOG Terminus XR. Uh, I have really enjoyed having it to fiddle with and to play with. I have used it on and off over the last week or so since I got it. Um, I think that I know they make a version of this in D2, which is even cheaper if you're into that sort of thing. Um, I think that SOG is definitely moving in the right direction with this, and um, that makes me really happy. I know I've said that a bunch, but look, when these companies that for years were synonymous with sort of good, hard-use knives fell away into what I think of as junk, uh, Gerber being another example of that, I'm always very happy when they decide to do something different and reverse that trend. And this is absolutely a reversal of that trend. This is by any measure, a good pocket knife. And that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, this has been the Terminus XR uh, by SOG. This has been a Therapeutic Edge. Feel free to like the video down there, the little button on your way out. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. We'll see you next time.